Thank you very much for coming, and thank you, thank you for staying. We had a uh, going over some details and uh, progress of uh, details about the, the effort, which as of today is moving along uh, extremely well. And I need to say that the Piedmont, Piedmont Medical Center is doing an outstanding job in getting the people in and getting the doses in their arms. Just to give you a, a perspective of what is what is going on here and in other states is there were about 57 million doses that the warp speed knew they had and could provide uh, w with certainty over the next number of weeks. This was a result of the Trump administration pushing for the development of the vaccines, as you remember, and we have two, Pfizer and Moderna. The Pfizer doses are the ones going to the hospitals. The Moderna doses are being handled by a separate contract and are going to CVS, CVS pharmacies or that organization and Walgreens and their responsibility is to go to the nursing homes, long care, long term care facilities and see that those people are vaccinated and then they will begin vaccinating in pharmacies. Some pharmacies have already gotten the vaccination, uh, gotten the vaccine, including uh, Ingalls, uh, I think Publix and maybe several others as well. But th they were to, the pharmacies were to start receiving their Moderna vaccine on the 18th, January the 18th, and then start giving shots. And if you can go online to DHEX website and other places and you'll see those dots, red and green dots, the red ones are ones that are coming online. The green ones are the ones, should be the ones that are taking appointments and giving shots. Now the, the, the majority, most of the vaccine went to the hospitals, large and small in the state. And why is that? Is that's because they have the most assets ready to go, although most of them are already stretched. But they, they answered the call and have been producing. Now there was some confusion at the beginning as to whether they should hold back when they receive their shipment every week of first doses, whether they should hold back on those doses to give second doses two weeks later. The answer was no. You're supposed to go ahead and get those shots in their arms and be empty by the time your next shipment of first doses comes in, which is the same day every week. And then for Pfizer, two weeks after you get those shipment of first doses, you get an equivalent shipment, if you ask for it, of second doses. Well, that was a misunderstanding there, but we've gotten that clear. And everyone knows now, the, the, the hospitals who are the main providers at this point, that when you get those doses in, you get them in somebody's arm before the week is out, because it does no good sitting on the shelf. We have had enormous response from a number of, from public, from private, John Geddes, the mayor of Rock Hill was instrumental. And I understand this is, somebody said this is uh, Congressman Norman's yeah, building. That's right. uh, there's, there's been great cooperation here. And this is really a model, one of, the, one of the models for the rest of the state. I want to recognize some people, Mark, is it Nasaka, the yes, CEO? John Geddes, I mentioned, Senator Wes Clymer is here, Bruce Bryant. Bruce is, where's Bruce? He's, get He's in there, is Blanche in there with Blanche, him? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Brandon Newton, Randy Ligon, Ray Felder, Dennis Moss didn't make it, Rick Lee, D. Heck, thank you very much. So here's a, just a few points that I'd like to give concerning a number of things, and one is the, the National Guard. The National Guard, South Carolina National Guard, now has 475 soldiers on duty in the COVID response. They have uh, medics in a number in eight hospitals giving shots right now. They've been there for several weeks. They're giving shots. They're testing. The, med the National Guard was setting up testing sites all around the state, assisting with logistics, the logistics of traffic control, the logistics of administrative work, uh, the logistics of cooking. They have even have food banks open in, in some places to help people. Right now, they have nine sites that they're operating in, uh, in hospitals, including MUSC in Florence, Prisma in Greenville in Richland, uh, in Georgetown at Tidelands. So our National Guard is fully involved in helping with logistics, and they also include the um, about 45 medics that are actually giving shots in hospitals. Here is the hospital progress. 
made just in the last, this is in the last week since the, it was clarified that those first doses, when they come in, it's just typically about 30,000 doses a week to all the hospitals in the state. We've got about 16 big ones and 20 something smaller ones that are, that are in this program. It's about 30,000 Pfizer first doses coming in on average every week and they can get an equivalent number of second doses coming in later on in the week. But here, here are the numbers of uh, the, the, a number of the big hospitals just in the, the last few days. On Saturday, they gave out 1,861 doses, 1,861 shots. Then when it was clarified about how the first doses and second doses, when they come in, they're all supposed to be used up within a week. Sunday, they gave 5,568 shots. Monday, 10,210 shots. Tuesday, 13,007 shots. And Wednesday, 20,642 shots. So that clarification uh, has helped greatly. Uh, on Prisma alone, let's see, Prisma alone in several hospitals around the state administered 10,000 shots yesterday. Uh, they had 12,000 doses remaining on hand last night. They plan to give it out. They could give it out all today, but they have 6,200 appointments for Friday and Saturday. They will give it out then, and then they'll be ready for their next shipment to come on, at which time they'll start over. So we're making a lot of progress. It, it was bumpy at first. There were some bottlenecks, including registering. The online federal registration was extremely difficult. That's been smoothed out in most cases. Uh, and as well as the, the lack of understanding about using those shots immediately. Don't wait, don't stretch them out till Easter. Go on and give them it, every, the shelves or the refrigerators of those hospitals that are getting that Prisma vaccine need to be empty every, every week before the next shipment comes. Give them out as quick as you can. If you can give them out in one day, do it in one day. But uh, give them out before the next, give those shots before the, before the next shipment comes. So we've had, we're making progress, but <clears throat> As you know, with the doses that we've received, that we are scheduled, re scheduled to receive through warp speed, we're getting our pro rata share of people 18 and over in our population. And uh, there's 64 jurisdictions, there are 50 states, the District of Columbia, several territories, and the uh, Indian reservations. And it's 64, we're, the, we're 26 in, the, in our, our size, our pro rata uh, size per capita. And of that 50, uh, 56 or 57 million doses that was guaranteed set aside that would be coming uh, as others were being made to add on to the end of that, our uh, dosage was 822,000. We've not done all those yet, so we still need to hurry. We need places like this operating to go ahead and get those doses. Now, mo most of them, 576,000 are coming to the hospitals. 245,000 are going to Moderna for, for that track. But we need to get those doses in right away. And that, that will be done as they come in. We're urging the hospitals, who are the main actors and doing a grand job now, to go ahead and, and operate at warp speed themselves and get those doses in, uh, as for the, the, the maximum that, that we can allocate of those uh, doses I mentioned, 822,576 of those for the, for the hospitals, and we'll get it done. But we also have to remind people that, that those doses that have been produced and are guaranteed, and we will not receive less as time goes on. We will no, not get less, we will get more. We expect to get more in March. We are told by warp speed that that's when Janssen and Johnson and Johnson and others as well may be coming on. So our numbers will go up. So we really need to get the infrastructure and the communications built out to be ready to be given a lot more doses than we are now. But even when that happens, it's going to take months to vaccinate everyone who wants to get vaccinated. So that means we have to, have to keep your mask. Remember to do all those things. Don't let up on that. We have to keep on doing that until we get everybody vaccinated. And we hope that if there's another strain that's coming through that th these vaccines will handle that as, as well.